If you keep getting this message, please shut down Steam if it's running. If you can't see any emulators under the Steam Room Manager passwords, if your Steam Deck can't detect a USB flash drive in the Boot Manager, in today's video, we will quickly find solutions to fix all those problems. If you are keep getting this message with Emu Deck, here is the fix. Just go back to the Steam Room Manager passwords page and make sure you turn on the emulator here. The reason that you keep getting the message please shut down the Steam if it is running is that you turned on some emulators under the passwords but you actually didn't have any ROMs for those emulator on your Steam Deck. After we turn on the emulator here, now if you try to click passwords button, everything should work. If there are no emulators under your Emu Deck passwords, you will not be able to pick any emulators from this page. If you are using the Steam Room Manager Classic Sim, it will look like this, just nothing under the passwords. And here is how to fix this issue. So inside the Emu Deck, click Custom Reset, then click Next until you reach this page. Make sure you highlight the Steam Room Manager on this page. Then just keep clicking Continue until the full installation finish. Now if we go to the Steam Room Manager again, all emulators should show up under the passwords. This is how everything should look like. If we switch to the classic same, and everything should show up under the passwords too. If your USB drive cannot be detected in the boot manager, just like what I showed here. Here is the solution to fix it. First, make sure your Steam Deck turns off completely. Then press down the volume plus button first. Then press down the power button. Until you hear the beep sounds. Then release two buttons together. The Steam Deck should now boot into the boot menu. From the boot menu, go to the setup utility. Then move to the advanced tab. Next, go to the USB configuration. Under USB dual device, we need change to XHCI. Then press the select button to save this change and exit. Now if we boot back to the boot manager again, your USB drive should be detected. Also just to let you know that you can also plug in the USB drive after boot into the boot manager. It will be detected as well.